Good morning. Today we're going to be learning how to make histograms on Logger Pro software. The first thing you want to do is find the Logger Pro, Pro software in your dock and open it up. If the Logger Pro isn't in your dock, you can always use the search menu. Now, because we're making a histogram, we want to go ahead and the first thing we want to do is delete this graph. So go ahead and select it and then delete it. The second thing we want to do is we only want to have one data value here. So you can see this says data set and then I have the X value and then the Y value. I want to, I want to go ahead and delete the uh, Y value. All right. The way I do that is by go up here to data, delete column, delete Y. Now you can see I've just got data set and X. I'm going to double click the X and up comes my options to put in a title. So I'm going to change this to change in mass. Okay, I'm going to put uh, change as my short name and my units are grams. All right. Um, you can, if you want to, while you're here in the options, change the color. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and do that and change it to tomato. But it doesn't really matter. It's fine if you just go ahead and leave that as it is. All right, what you're going to do now is, now you're going to enter some data. So the easiest thing is to go over to your data table in Excel, and then you can go ahead and select the data points. Copy them. And then paste them. It should paste all of the ones that you copied. All right. So what I want you to do now is you're going to go over here to this data set and you're going to double click the data set. We want to go ahead and title this. We're going to title this Experiment 2.1. So we're all set. I've got data set Experiment 2.1. I've got um, the change in mass up here. And now what I want to do, and I have my uh, data in, in red. Now what I want to do is add uh, more new data sets. When I click the new data set, notice that these same criteria went ahead and made a copy over here. So I still get change in mass and I get a title that's similar to the title here. It just says 2.1.2. So I'm going to double click that and I'm going to change that to my other experiment, 2.4. Okay, I'm going to double click change and I'm going to give it a different color. Violet. Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and do that again until I have all of my data sets ready to roll. So new data set. You may have to click and drag this window, make it a little bit bigger. And now I have experiment 2.6. So here you can see I have experiment 2.1, experiment 2.4, experiment 2.5, experiment 2.6. Okay? So that's the easy part. Then you would either manually enter data. You can go ahead and go, like, you know, type it right in there as much as you want. Um, you know, read it right off. And then you can go ahead and enter the data for this other column as well. All right. Now what we need to do is now we've got the data entered. We want to go ahead up to, up to these options at the top. We want to click Insert Additional Graph. Okay, But before we do that, we want to put it on a separate page. So we're going to go over to Page Options and hit Add a Page. I'm going to title this page The Histogram. And now I have a blank space that I can then insert my additional graph, my histogram. What you'll notice is the color that I used originally is kind of the color that's continued to be used. So if I click back here, you'll see that here's my red. Okay, and what it did was is it went ahead and put that in my red column. Now I can go up here and go to is it page? Yes, page, which is um, auto arrange. If I had Apple R or Command R it goes ahead and it makes my graph as big as possible. Now when I double click the graph, up come my options. 
So you can see up here, I can label my frequency. I can go ahead and call it count. I can go down here and I can label my bin access and I can call it change in mass. Make sure you put the units in. Down here, I can change things like my bin size. So we want my bin size to be 0.1. And we want my bin start to start at 0.05. Okay. And then over here, I can go ahead and I click my other data values. Now, I don't really have any other data values. I didn't enter them in, but I can go ahead and do that. And when I hit OK, it now sort of reformats and creates the histogram. The other thing that I can do up here in my histogram is if I click the graph options, I can click on the title and give it a title. Changes in mass in different situations. I can give it a tick style, no line. I could say, oh, okay, I'm going to make it a solid line. Um, and so see how it changes the title, and it gives me some tick marks and some reference points. If I don't like the fact that this is like going right up to the top, I can go back into my graph options, and I can always hit auto scaling, and I can say, hey, let's auto scale a little bit larger. Uh, maybe try that again. Auto scale a little bit larger. All right, so it didn't seem to work, so maybe I could just sort of add a new uh, bottom of zero. Maybe I add a new top, and let's say I'll go two. So see how that works? So I can go ahead and change the parameters really very easily in my video um, just by simply double clicking on this and then going into other things. The other thing you might want to try is clicking on the stack columns to see what happens. So that's essentially how to make uh, a histogram. And I hope you enjoyed this video, and good luck making it.